So in question 14, again, it says, show the solution set of the inequality on a normal line and also using symbolic and interval notation. So let's see where 14 takes us. Notice how this has the word or. The word or also implies or refer to as union. Union means to include both. So, because remember, the word or kind of means that as long as you make one of those conditions true, the whole thing is true. So keep that in mind. The word or is a little bit different than the word and. When you use the word and, you have to have both statements true. But in the word or, only one of the two statements has to be true at a time. So if I solve the first inequality, 2x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0, again, we can use the property of equality, add 4 to both sides. And we have then 2x is less than or equal to 4. So if I divide by 2 to get rid of the coefficient, to make the coefficient equal to a 1, this gives me then x is less than or equal to 2. So that would be one of my solutions. So if I come up here and graph it, 2 would be my, my boundary. And then you include it. And then less than 2 means you would go over here to the left. So this would make the first inequality true. Or 4x can be greater than or equal to 24. So again, to solve this one, if we divide both sides by 4, that makes the coefficient equal to a 1. And we would get x is greater than or equal to 6. So 6 is going to be to the right or 2. So if I put that on the number line, we have that. And notice how we would close that, because we include the 6, and we'd be doing to the right of that. So our, our solution would look like that. So as an inequality, we would say, x is less than or equal to 2, or x is greater than or equal to 6 would be our solution. So only the numbers between 2 and 6 are not included. Everything else would work for this problem. So as long as you make one of those conditions true, uh, that would be correct. Now, if I'm using interval notation, notice how we have two intervals. So the, this interval over here on the left, notice how the left boundary is, there is no left boundary, so we use negative infinity. And then the right boundary is a 2. Since it's included, we use a bracket. But since there's also this other interval, we can use the, the symbol in union with to say include both. And then this left boundary is a 6, which we do include. And then since there's not a right boundary, we use infinity. Infinity, we use a parenthesis. So that's what the answer would look like using um, interval notation is you actually have to include two intervals. And so this union symbol means to include both of those sets as our solution.